Paul Crowley, welcome to the University Hello. of Huddersfield. Uh, you are the Head of User Experience and Design uh, at the BBC. I am. I'm one of them, I should one say. One of them. There are, yes, there, there are six, more than There's more than one. Yes, yes, there's more than one. So I, I look after a part of the, the BBC's digital output. So I look after the BBC homepage. I look after GEL, which is our global experience language, which is the way that we try and unify the experiences across everything that the BBC does mm -hmm. digitally. <coughs> And I also look after my BBC, which is the BBC's massive push into a personalised experience where people can register, sign in and have a more, much more personalised experience of the BBC. So they're, they're the aspects of the user experience that I'm across. And, uh, and what, uh, how, how do you keep abreast of it all, uh, you know, in terms of like, are you doing a good job? Because a good job in, in, in your case is in your title, user yeah. experience. If, yeah. uh, uh, how do you see if the user is happy? Well, that's, the user is at the heart of everything that we do. So rather than myself personally, the, the rather the fabulous team that I'm a part of, we do extensive amounts of audience research and design research where we're continuously, and we work very collaboratively with the marketing and audiences department, who are another function of the BBC, to understand you know, at, a, at, a, at a broad scale the, what the audience is after, what audience consumption habits are and behaviours are at the moment. They're changing all the time. Yeah. The challenge we're running today is all about that. Um, and then we do an enormous amount of design research in the laboratory where we bring users in off the street and evaluate our work and our design thinking with them. Um, if we don't fail many times before we succeed, we see that as a failure in and of itself. Mm -hmm. and, and the whole of BBC Digital adopts what's known as the sort of lean or the agile process where everything is done in short sprints where you identify a particular user need or story or a particular goal and then you work very very quickly on that very small discrete piece of work and that's the way that we that we work and the product development happens at the BBC so we're continuously evolving what we call our products such as iPlayer or Muse or Sport <coughs> CBeebies they're continuously under a state of change and you'll see minor improvements and incremental change all the time and the design team is part of the group delivering that stuff and we're continuously evaluating all of the changes we're making. And then GEL, the global experience language that I'm across, what we're trying to do is to have a single best way of solving any given um, user need or problem, calling that a pattern. So we evolve a, an interaction pattern for a particular design or interaction. And in, in an ideal world, that becomes the standard by which all the products follow until we find a better way, you know, and then we, because we, it's, it's a world that's in change all the yes, time. Yes, that's right. And so trial and error is, uh, is, is the way forward in a way. You, you will do things and you'll think, dash. That, 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 Absolutely, yeah. you learn. I mean, we, we, we work really hard to try and make sure that the audience or the user doesn't see those failures. So we see it as a, as a success if we fail a lot behind closed doors whilst designing something. And we do all that we can to make sure that anything that actually goes live to the audience, we've, we've ironed out any problems. But in a world that's changing as fast as the one mm. we're in, you inevitably revisit things and see that there are better ways of doing something. Yes. And change, change is, the, is the business. How, <coughs> how do you, you can't stay ahead of change. You, you're always following, aren't you? But how, how, do you, how do you follow so close that uh, you don't miss it? To, well, how do you pick I, up these things? I, I, it's a hard question to answer. I mean, we obviously pay a huge amount of interest to the industry. Um, we work, you know, BBC Digital as a whole, of which user experience and design is a component, spends an awful lot of time and effort in looking at trends, new technology, where we think what's happening in the future. We, you know, we look at our competitors. I mean, for us, the, the design challenge, again, that we're talking about mm -hmm. today upstairs, it's all about how audience consumption and audience behaviour around consumption is changing dramatically, especially in the younger audiences that the BBC is struggling to attract now. Mm -hmm. um, television itself isn't that important in the lives of 16 to 24 year olds. <laughs> um, they're all, we, 90, 95% of them have a smartphone. They look at them nearly 100 times a day. They use YouTube, Netflix, um, Twitter, to name just but a few. Um, it's very, very hard for the BBC to reach those. So we're spending an awful lot of time thinking about, okay, what's, what's the next big thing for the BBC? How do we start to appeal to and reach those audiences? Because they're a vital part. You know, they, they, in theory, pay the licence fee too. We're a public service broadcaster. The reach for television has always been exceptionally good and for radio. Um, for the digital stuff, we don't reach as wide as... Um, part of the audience as television and radio, and we need to address that. Also, you, you talk about the 24-hour... 
uh, challenge, the challenge you've mm. spoken about. It is a 24-hour challenge where we bring together here at Huddersfield mm. um, students from various disciplines to, uh, um, if you like, come up with a, a solution to a problem uh, in 24 hours, uh, mm. and you are one of the judges. Um, Sadly, I'm not. Actually. Are you not? I, I thought you were a judge. I, I, I was going to be, but I'm not able to be here tomorrow. But I, we've got four very, very right. capable judges, um, creative directors from the BBC UX team. One of whom is actually the creative director for which this live brief relates. Live brief. What? What is? What is that? You did mention it. Yes. Um, so what have you asked them to do? You know, the live brief is how would you um, how would you reimagine a, a TV channel in the internet? In the, era, in the era of internet distribution. And specifically, it's about the fact that BBC Three, which is um, a TV channel specifically targeted at 16 to 24 year olds, the youth audience, is, is going to be taken off air and is going to be online only in terms of distribution. And so our challenge is, how would you reimagine a TV identity or a TV channel for a youth audience that's online only? And what we're really asking is not to think about just distributing TV programmes over the internet, but what is an online proposition for that audience? And when you look at their consumption behaviours, the devices that they're using, how this stuff fits in their lives, what they care about, how they discover it, how might you design an experience differently to, so, to support that audience? Um, and that's a real live brief that the BBC Three team are looking at right now. And David Gallagher, who's one of our judges tomorrow, is the creative director overseeing that work. So he'll be a really valuable person. So, so, so there might be some really good ideas that, uh, that come out of this challenge that we might actually see, uh, or, or let's say the audience targeted might actually uh, see yeah, at the end of the day. Quite possibly, just because you know, we're sharing all of our work and our research with the people upstairs. So that it's quite possible that some of the conclusions and the ideas will be very similar to ones we've already got. We might see some amazing ideas tomorrow. I'm, I'm sure we will. I'm really excited to see. I mean, the, the audience that's upstairs working on this challenge right now, they are the target audience for BBC Three. So it's a really good group of people to be asking to look at this brief and this challenge. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.